Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is class A, A1BXB, de-escalation technique of how to cut glass. And will they have cookies in de-escalation rooms? If so, I think they'll be overcrowded. Okay, this is a grease pencil. I'm pretty sure it's grease pencil. It might be a wax, but I think it's a grease pencil. It might be a wax. I'm not sure. It has some words on it, but it doesn't explain what it is. And we all need an explanation. But anyway, look at that. It's got, it's got stuff covering the... That's pretty fancy, huh? A little wax there, huh? Keep it probably from drying out. Probably some oil or grease. Anyway. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark a line here. I don't really need this. Ooh, there. See? That's what you don't want to do. You don't want that ruler to move. But I'm going to make a line here. Which isn't really doing a very good job. This is a horrible... You hear that? I don't think that's supposed to happen. We're gonna. Hope I had a lighter. I don't smoke crack, so I don't carry a lighter. What's crack smoking have to do with it? I don't know. I just, you just what, you know? What would you need a lighter for? Well, that's the worst line ever. Okay, that's not gonna work. I gotta find a magic marker or something. But anyway. Next step, I'm going to take this, take this oil out, this, you know what, this is probably just like mineral spirit or something. Oh good, it's a plastic cap where children, nor adults, can open it. What the heck? Okay, to open, close to, oh, maybe. Okay, push down, oh, push down. I am. Ah, oh, there. Ah, oh, I almost needed a room to get through the anxiety of opening. Okay, now that. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say it almost made it so it couldn't fit. Now I got too much oil, and what you're gonna need for this overabundance of oil is something to dry it off, because you don't want that. I don't think you want that much oil dripping all over your glass. And it smells like. I don't know what I don't know what it smells like. It smells like some sort of I don't know, it's mineral spirits. Probably canola. They probably sell this premium it's premium oil, but it's probably harmful of harmful of fatal of swallow. Okay, so it can't be canola oil. Alright. Well, anyway. I'm gonna run this along. They say don't do it more than once. So I need a going to put oh dang it I got a I'm gonna use this use a square I'm not going along the line because I gotta get a magic marker to my next one I'll do okay hopefully that'll hold one in now they say only run it once they say don't go over it twice so how hard do you have to press doesn't say it says press firmly what is firmly to everybody on the planet you know who, who's who's the one that wrote the word I mean firmly does it say in the definition in a dictionary as to pressure pounds or how much weight you have to lift per day for your life what's firmly firmly to a firmly to a, a, a person that's never worked before and maybe only uh, lifted l single leaves at a time their whole life and what it would firmly be to them compared to a guy that could press 1200 pounds I mean <clears throat> one's guy's gonna he's gonna say firmly he's gonna break the glass he's gonna rip probably he'll probably just cut the glass clean through without even needing to it won't be a score it'll be this thing going clear through the glass probably through the plywood and then the guy that lifts leaves for a living you know one leaf at a time for some artist, maybe his sister. He worked for his sister in a leaf drawing contest. And so he's not going to be able to, 
press down hard enough. So what's the pressure? You know, maybe what they should build on here is some sort of way so when you press down on it, it's got a little red thing in here so you know that, okay, you're pressing hard enough. That is called firmly. And we'll all call, we'll all uh, start calling the uh, uh, firm, firm uh, application is called the Baton Rouge or the red stick. And uh, because it'll be like a red stick, it'll be pressing down here. And then when it presses down, a little red stick will come out because this will be like cut open. You cut this open and it'll be like a plunger. And so when firmly is met, a little red stick will appear, a little red, you know, piece inside that's painted. It'll, when you're pushing down, it'll come through and show the red stick. So they'll call that the red stick glass cutter or the Baton Rouge glass cutter. Anyway, so I'm going to run, I'm going to start at this end and I'm trying to go up and straight up and down instead of, instead of going at an angle, you know, Let's see, how would this be shown? Instead of going at an angle like that, I'm trying to just keep it as up straight as possible to keep this little cutting wheel. And it's got oil on it. Probably, I probably just ruined the oil content now. And I've already cleaned this glass. I cleaned this glass last night. So I'm gonna keep it as upright as possible. And I'm pressing as hard as would do if you had 16 Oreo cookies. Oh, oh I think I just made it. That's eh, the stupidest thing. This moved. I'm gonna have to work on getting this stabilized so it doesn't move around. What do they have to build that? I don't know. I mean, if you're working on a flat surface and you're using a straight edge as this, you're gonna need more than one of these and you're not gonna be able to have the end of the table. So, see, see what if you're up here? Whatever you're up here and you got to press down on that. You got to hold that down. What do they got? You know, what am I going to do? Go to the store and buy a 700 pound weight. That is going to break all the glass over here. I can't do that. And what am I going to, you know, what am I going to do to press down this glass? Uh, it's going to break it. So how do you do it? You got to be real careful. You know, I just, because I just noticed that when I did that, it moved just a little bit to the side. Doesn't, I don't know if it's. It looks like I made it all the way up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this and this isn't really a good, as good as a demonstration. I don't think it says to use gloves and eye protection, but I don't even, it says to hit the glass underneath Am I supposed to hold this up? I don't understand this. Okay, I'm gonna hit on this crack. I don't know what that did, you know? I don't know, you hit it once, how hard do you hit? Maybe there ought to be something on here. Maybe there ought to be something on this little ball that <clears throat> when you hit hard enough, a little thing pops up and that way you know, okay, I struck the glass hard. And then you'd have a measurement on here as well as a little screw to dial it in as far as how hard it hits because it'd have a little thing on here that you screw down the farther you screw down the more pressure you'd have to hit to get a little thing to flag up so it could say that you hit it struck it hard enough you you measure in the glass and whether it's tempered and then it's little you so you have a little dial here that says uh this is 332nd so i dial it down to 332nd and then uh tempered 332nd tempered and then you'd have to dial to a tempered i don't even I don't know how it, this isn't tempered this is like just normal glass so I'm hoping that that is enough now see this is what I did last night I picked that up like this and I could feel that glass flexing there's a there's a there's a lot of flex in there before that I mean you, you know glass flex but I mean how do I okay how do I get that you know, I always thought that these things was you to you to put on this glass and put it on there and then bend it. Cause I, but I know that's wrong. I'll guarantee you right now that if I did that, because it shows putting your hands on it, and 
I don't, I, you know, maybe, maybe I ought to go along this. Maybe I ought to pull this down. Guarantee you, I'll probably get a hundred cuts in the scene and still not get it perfect. I remember doing this as a kid and I was like, I don't know, it seems like the first time I do everything, I take into effect all the stuff that needs done. I do it right the first time. And then after that, I just kind of degrade for some unknown reason. It's like I do great the first time with everything. I could probably have been a professional with everything if I only did it once. That this is going to shatter. I don't. I don't see this. I don't. Man, this is okay. I'm going to put my gloves on. Now, these are highly designed glass gloves. They're not. They're cloth. And I'm going to try to. I don't want to break this. I mean, I want to snap. I don't. I don't think this is good. I don't. I think it should. I don't know, man. It does not. See, that's the reason. I, I don't. It doesn't feel like it's. Okay, there, there. I'm seeing it. Okay, I am seeing small cracks going down. There are some small cracks that I see when I'm hitting this multiple times. Not hard. I, maybe it's just that's what you have to do. You just have to hit it until you can see the small cracks. They're, they're probably not even a quarter inch long, maybe three eighths of an inch long. I mean, three eighths of an inch. Uh, not a quarter. Uh, three, I don't know, three. Yeah, three eighths. And uh, maybe not that long. But anyway. I can see by just tapping this that it's and it's not it's not hard, but man. Okay, I can see it, but I'm just going. Okay, yeah, that's this is how it's got to be. You must have to go all the way. See, it didn't say go all the way down the crack. So I'm going all the way down this crack and making sure that these little those little you can see the little breaks. See the little breaks in. Yeah, that's what, see, I see little cracks where I scored. You can see the glass starting to, sh it, you can see the shine from the glass is kind of going deep or the break where the score is. You can see the, you can see the shine. Man, this is, this is scary. Cause I don't want, I don't want this thing to shatter. I think I've seen people do this and hit it once and why is it, you know, maybe they got the pressure technique down. I would, I think I'm going to stop this film right here. This is 14 minutes in, I'm going to pause it and come back after I get all the way through. Okay, I'm going to try, I got kind of, it looks like it's glistening, it's kind of broke. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pick it up the horizontal, I'm gonna be horizontal where I break it instead of vertical to the to the cut. There, oh, there it is, but look, the end, the end messed up. Where is it? So, that's not a good cut. You see right there where it broke, that's not good, I can't have that. But I did realize that you have to look down the glass. 
I don't know if I, I might not have done all the way down. So maybe when I'm tapping under here, it's kind of, you can kind of see like, uh, the, uh, you can see where it looks like the glass is starting to break through there. It just kind of gives like a, a shimmer of a glass break. Is there, and it's probably only as long as this is wide. You know, and you got to go down, you got to, and I had started hitting a pretty, pretty good lick. I was kind of scared to hit it too much to break off the whole piece. Well, I'm going to try another cut. And except I'm, I'm going to go get a, a magic marker to cut this. But I'm going to upload this video for the first one. And I think I'll use this as a, uh, no, I won't use this for anything. I'm going to throw that away. Unless uh, somebody has an idea before I throw it away, which by the time I, anyway. 